What is up Gamer Nation? It is your boy Asher here with a brand new Dead by Daylight video. And now let me preface it by saying this. This video is something completely different. It is different content than what I'm used to creating. I'm usually more of a guy that I'll make a commentary video or I'll make a discussion video and I'll put some Dead by Daylight gameplay in the background just to have it in the background. But this one will be more of a tutorial slash guide video because as you can see we started off this match rather rough. It's a nurse in the game with a suicide at 5 gems. And now, particularly the game is not a very good nurse map. It can be weak, but you know, if you're ever caught in a long corridor or just a corner in the map that's a dead zone, she can just instantly win the game. And that's the main lesson I want to teach you here today. That's what I want to show you guys. That is the lesson of the day. Adaptability. I want to show you guys how I turned a completely losing match because right here right now the nurse she should be just fucking doing her victory lap. You know this game was all but over at this point but with the ability to adapt and overcome and learn how to create new methods on the fly or really adopt new methods on the fly I was able to turn a losing match into a winning situation and get all my teammates out surprisingly I know and that's, that's the point I really want to stress with this video adaptability because I'll be completely transparent with you my first two loops in this match were very very weak they were weak I'll just say it right now you know I wasn't proud of them but I kept it in the video to show you that point again adaptability I'm not gonna claim I created this tech I'm not gonna claim that I invented it but I will say this I did adopt it because there was a lot of pressure it was a high pressure situation and I needed to come up with a brand new method of escaping because unfortunately that was not a flashlight save but it's okay I still have two hook states left two more opportunities to really make something out of this match adaptability my friends whenever the killer drops you or they are refusing to pick you up the first thing you should do is crawl to the nearest pallet because this will give your teammates opportunity to move in and maybe even pull off a great save just like you're about to see here now. You think the Dwight fucked up, but oh boy, he pulls off a beautiful CJ tech. Fucking amazing. Like, I am so glad I put my faith in that Dwight because even the nurse is a little stunned here. You can see she took a second to really process what the hell just happened there. So, you know, I am taking advantage of the fact that she is predicting all my movements. And that's, that's the showcase of this brand new tech I'm going to show you today. That is a whole idea, that is a whole concept of the lesson I'm trying to show you. Now the lesson of the day is adaptability, but the concept, the concept on paper is taking advantage of really the killer's movement. This tech is what I call the extensive reactor tech. Now, right now, this is my second loop, so I do not employ it. I have a very bad loop here. And, you know, th this this is when I learn about this nurse, though. Because here's when I'm saying she likes to predict my movements. A very good nurse will. She, she's trying to go where I will be. So, later on in this match, I actually use this against her. Because that's the whole point of this tech using the knowledge that you have given to the killer to the nurse particularly because this is a tutorial on how to dodge the nurse it's mostly nurse based this is not going to work with any other killer but it's really taking advantage of the killer expecting 
you to make certain moves, to make certain mistakes. And here is the tech in play. I call it the extensive reactor play. Now, if you see what I'm doing here, let me, let me break it down to you. When it comes to looping nurse, what a bunch of people will do in this community is they'll do a fake and a dodge. They'll go left as faking it just to really move right. And we are at the era where killers, they already expect this man. They already expect, why do you think the nurse was moving like she was in this match? And I was able to create this new movement on the fly because she was expecting me to go left then right but what i was doing was i was implementing the fov tech i don't know if you notice me doing it it's very subtle but i'll do a little spinny move and then i'll dodge and that's the general idea the general gist of this tech again i'm call i will be calling it from now on the extensive reactor tech because you are extending your dodges and reacting to the killer. But if it makes it easier for you to remember this tech or how to do it, you can call it the nurse's FOV tech or, or a much more interesting and colorful name, the rolling dodge combo. Why is it called this? The idea is you wanna do a fake you want to do a dodge, but you want to dodge that dodge because a, a good nurse will know how to utilize her blink. Every nurse has two blinks. And like I said, most people will take this advantage and use a fake so you can fake out the first blink like I did there. And then they'll do a dodge to dodge a second blink. Now, most of the time, a good nurse will be patient and she'll wait for that dodge and, you know, blink the opposite direction or just really read where you're going like this nurse is trying to do. So what I did was I implemented the FOV tech. It doesn't matter at what point you do the FOV tech during your dodge. The whole point is though, you implement an FOV and a dodge. Or in other terms, the rolling dodge, which is you dodge, you dodge, you dodge. You want to do your fake and you want to dodge your dodge because they're going to expect a dodge and they're going to fake you out and hit you. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but if you just really watch the footage, watch how my character spins and watch how I do a little three point maneuver. It's not a two point maneuver. Everybody does a two point maneuver against the nurse. That's fine and dandy against new nurses, but I just single handedly won the fucking match for my team by dodging three times. Again, let me let, let me say it again. Let me explain this to you again. The rolling dodge combo, the nurse's FOV tech, or the extensive reactor, which is my favorite because you're extending the loop and reacting to the killer. The number one way to do this is you want to fake, you want to dodge, and then dodge the dodge. If the killer is really good, then you're going to have to dodge your second dodge. So it's a fake dodge, 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 which is exactly why I implement the FOV tech. It could be a dodge FOV or FOV into a dodge. The whole point is with the FOV, it's, it's, it's one singular move, but Thank, thanks to the FOV, it's such a natural glide that it allows you to force a blink or a hit. You get what I'm saying? It, it's something that in practice, it's, I don't want to say it's difficult, but in practice, it takes a lot of getting used to. It takes learning how to do FOV text. It takes on how, learning how to do a bunch of dodges, learning how to fake out. And that's why I stress adaptability because look, she adapts to the situation. That's why I kept emoting to the Nia, come to the pallet, come to the pallet. Because here's when you're at a standoff and there's three of you, you want to do what I just did. You want to make sure one person gets hit by the killer. And while the killer's in their weapon cleaning animation, the other person gets the save. Bada bing, bada boom. 
we just won the game, baby. That is the extensive reactor. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below, and I will be happy to teach you more. I have been your boy, Asher. Thank you so very much for watching, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. I am out. Thank you for watching to the very end of the video. This is a special announcement. I have entered a brand new musical competition, Orbit's Search for the Next Top Star. Now, all you have to do to support me is go down to the link in the description and click that link, or also it will be pinned in the top comment. All you have to do is copy, paste the link onto your browser, and cast your free votes for Asher Morataya. You can cast uh, free votes daily and they cost absolutely nothing. It takes less than a minute. So if you would so kindly click that link and vote for Asher Morataya to be Orbit's next top star, I will be eternally grateful. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your support and thank you for listening and being a part of my musical journey and my YouTube journey. Remember to vote Asher Morataya for a chance to win $10,000. Thank you guys. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your night.